Hello guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Now today, this is a slightly different type of video. I didn't actually know if I wanted to do it, so I put a vote out on social media whether you guys want to see me talk about this certain topic. And over 70% of you guys thought, you know what? Yeah, you do want to hear my thoughts on this certain topic. Now, before I get into this video, I just want to say I'm not criticising the club in any way. I'm just saying what I feel needs to be looked at for the future and the improvements which it can make to improve the club for the future, basically. Now, this topic is obviously about our youth academy and development, which is currently happening at the club. So, firstly, obviously, like at Luton, we know it's been like a rebuilding process since the conference. We've been re rebuilding the club. And out of, like, a lot of clubs out there who are in the conference don't actually have an academy. So, we are very lucky that we were able to fund an academy while we were in there. We're lucky that we had that fan base to obviously fund that when you're not in the football league you, there's no funding which goes towards your academy so we're very lucky that we were able to fund the academy in the first place i say over like the last 10 years or so i don't think we've had many decent players come out of our academy and break into the first team obviously you've got james justin who's been the massive player to break into the first team but apart from that not really any big names have come through the first team and gone gone to places and perform really well with a lot of academies though you do sell players at such a young age and they do go off to other clubs or the players just want to leave academies and go on their own path like which players have always done with Luton especially we do set we, we do like to sell out our youth prospects very young like when they are 14 15 and they do end up going on to bigger and better things like we've known it with Lewis Baker there's so many other players, the De Silva brothers as well, they've gone on to better things. And that's because we sold them while they were young in the academy. Now, what a lot of clubs do at the moment, especially in the Premier League and in the Championship, is they have an under-23 squad. This And you can put your under-23 squad in a development league. At the moment, Luton, we, have a, we do have like this development thing. But it's where you play a lot of first teamers play in it. Uh, youngsters do play in this first, like in these development type of games. But they are every so often. Like they're, they're not regular. They're not every week. Um, they're like I say, you get like one 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 game every month, maybe two if you're lucky. But not many games at all. And those type of games are there for the players if they wanna get fit, recovering back from injury or they need some type of game time. With an under 23's development, what this means is you get put into a league and you obviously compete with other, other under 23 squads. And also you play a lot more games. So you, I, I believe you play at least over 20 games, which is very good if you're not getting any first team football. In these under 23 games, obviously you've got to be under 23 to play, which helps massively with younger players, but also you can play, I think, I believe if the rules is still the same, you can play three players over the age of 23 as well. So if, like I said, if injuries, suspensions and stuff like that, you can still keep players fit, you can put them in the under 23 squad. Now, Luton, we currently don't have an under 23 squad. I understand this because, like I said, we've been rebuilding from the conference and also we've had other things more to worry about, i.e. the stadium, like development plans, stuff like that so that's been the most important thing which has like for Luton it has been get a new stadium sort that out and go from there rather than look into our youth and I can I appreciate the club not looking into this like this a stadium is more important a stadium is there for the future yeah academy an academy as long as you're in the football league your academy will always be there type of thing so I like the stadium is more important and I can understand why the owners and whoever's in charge has not been focusing on the academy. However, after the stadium has been built, when it eventually does get built and other develop and other development plans happen, the academy then needs to be like get looked at. The reason why I bring this topic up is because if James Justin does leave and at the moment there has been talks that he's gonna be leaving the club for around about twelve million to Leicester City. We, as a rule, this is a rule, I didn't even realise this was a rule, but um, a Football League rule states that every Football League club has to play a homegrown talent 
in either in the starting eleven or on the bench. We've been like absolutely fine over the last couple of seasons because we've been playing James Justin. However, if he does go, that means we need to play a homegrown talent. Now we've currently got a couple of lads. We've got Frankie Masonda, we've got Arthur Reed, we've got young like a young striker. I can't say his name, but um we've got a really talented young striker who signed a professional deal. So we have got players who are professional and who are like our own players, our, our own from our own academy. However, are they actually good enough to like get featured in a championship game? And for me, this has is gonna let us down this season if James Justin does go, because that means we've got to play. We've got to put a player in our starting eleven or on our bench who's not actually ready for the championship, and he's got to get he's got to get put like there because we will break the rules. So he has to be there type of thing. Which is a shame because obviously we don't you don't want that. You wanna you wanna go into games with your best eleven, with your best bench. So you don't really wanna put a, a player's name on a seat just because he's a homegrown talent. And it doesn't help the player himself because if he's not ready to play any championship football, he should be going out on loan, he should be going he should be developing instead of actually watching the games, being around a team environment. You know, even even though that can be a positive, as a player, you want to play games. And if you're not playing any games and you're just sitting there because you you have to, otherwise the club breaks rules, then you're gonna feel quiet. You're gonna feel bad because you want to play games. You want to you want to develop. You want to get better as a football player. So that's why I thought I'd bring up this topic because if Justin does go, we don't really have any quality like homegrown talent to be able to put in the starting eleven or on the bench. Now, I'm saying this now, I could be wrong. Now, Arthur Reed for me, has shown fantastic like potential that he can go really far. I remember in a pre-season friendly last year against St Albans, he came off the bench and he was... He scored a really good goal with his left foot, I, I remember. And he, he was just causing so many problems. And he definitely could play at that standard. And I'm pretty sure he could play a lot higher as well. But we would never know that because we've not seen much of him. We've seen him in, like, checker trade trophy games and stuff like that. But we need to see more of these younger players. So this is why I suggested that we need to be looking into our academy. We need to be looking into getting an under-23 squad. But I can understand that this will not ever happen until we get our stadium. I also want to state as well, this is why certain um, youngst, like youngsters, um, like former youngsters at Luton have gone off to like higher clubs. So like for, for example, Tariq Baconson, Freddie Hines, Akin Fenwo recently, all three of these players have gone off, like have gone to Bristol City and Norwich. Now everyone's going like, why have they gone to these clubs? They can't even get into the first team at Luton. Now the reason why they've gone there is because Bristol City, Norwich have got an under 23 development squad. So what happens is they go to these under 23 development squads, they play a season in this under 23 development squad, they develop, they get better as a footballer, they play games, and then the following season they end up going out on loan. Tariq Bakerson, he did this when Bristol City brought him up. They brought him, he played a season for Bristol City, he then went this season, he then went to on loan to Newport County, who then got into the playoff final and had an, an amazing FA Cup run. So it just shows you that th it does work and it helps players if they're not ready as well because they can play in these under-23 development games, get ready, get better and then improve as a player. So there you have it guys, that's my um, opinion on our youth system and the way it's going at the moment. Another factor could be scouting. It could need improving, but I'm pretty sure our, our, we've got a really good scouting system and that like, the amount of youngsters have gone off to better things, gone off to play for Premier League clubs and that. It, it just shows you we do have a good scouting like like system. It's just we need to try and keep these youngsters at the club so then we can end up making money out of them. They can then come through this academy at Luton rather than jump ship and go to another academy but yeah that is the end of the video guys let me know what you think of, my, of our current youth system let me know if you agree with what i what i'm saying let, let yeah just let me know down in the comments section below what's your opinion on our current like development system the way we bring players through and our youth academy let me know down in the comments 
drop a like if you did enjoy the video subscribe to the channel if you are new and don't forget to follow me across all my social media and i'll see you guys in the next video